bigger than Bucky's. Bigger than Bucky's? This is almost like its own little city. It's crazy. What is this, an angry duck? Very, <laughs> very angry duck. With a cigar. The one thing I have to say is like truckers, they're so friendly. Like they have so much good information. After saying goodbye to our friends in last week's episode, we headed out for our next destination to visit family in Nebraska. There are some amazing places to see along the way in the Midwest, but this place is definitely a must-see, must-stop, offbeat attraction. There are not many places that can boast the title of world's largest. So stay tuned as we find some interesting amenities at the Iowa 80 truck stop, which is truly the world's largest. Ah, oh, the smells. All oh, the smells. I'll just make sure they know Alaska was here too. <laughs> So we are here at the world's largest truck stop and they are RV friendly. They've got a ton of RV parking, but this is really like the Mecca. And we're gonna tell you in just a little bit why that this is the world's largest truck stop. But first, we are going to put something to the test. Now, there are two camps that say truck stop food is gross and truck stop food is amazing. You'll have to let us know in the comments which camp that you tend to be in. but. We're gonna go find out for ourselves. So come along with us as we go eat breakfast at the world's largest truck stop and find out is truck stop food all that it's cracked up to be. Let's go. Welcome to Iowa 80. So here's an interesting fact. Interstate 80 is the second longest interstate in the United States, 2,900 miles long. Fun facts that you only will learn at, you know, the world's largest truck stop. Oh my gosh, they're 58 bucks. These are fish yeah. flip flops. See that? Fish flops, let's flip. You could walk on the grass all the time with your grass flip flops oh right here. Oh my gosh, I, I think I need some of these. I know, okay. Are you just getting? We're seriously no. getting distracted though. Yeah. I'm starving, so let's yeah. go find the food. We, need, we haven't even had our coffee yet. I know, that's the problem. Look at this one. It's like a hedgehog. How much is it? I don't know. $8. Oh, so cute. That is cute, isn't it? I want it so bad. This is a ghillie suit. It's basically, you'd hide in the forest so you don't get shot. We're gonna go eat food. Ben, I think it's like a breakfast buffet. <gasps> bigger than Bucky's. Bigger than Bucky's. And gravy. What did you think of your first <laughs> truck stop breakfast? You know, my first truck stop breakfast, well, the price was right, so I, I can't complain about that. So what was the price? It was $12.99, right, for all-you-can-eat buffet. So they I had, enjoyed it. Yeah, I had some eggs, some good uh, potatoes, uh, biscuits, gravy, potatoes. and potatoes. Uh, potatoes. Potatoes. Potato, potato. And then oh waffles with syrup and coffee and water. I'm full. And now I'm ready to go take a really, really good truck stop shower. Truck stop shower? Yes. Coming up next. But first, a haircut. Before. After. So these are the showers here? Yeah, but so oh you have oh a little no. pin code? This is out of service. Oh, this no. is out of service. So I don't know how it works. So you pay well, well, and they give you a code? I don't know. We're going to find out. Okay. After doing a little boondocking over the past few days, I was well overdue for a nice long hot shower. So I figured I'd give a truck stop shower a try. They were spacious, clean, and modern with clean towels. Fancy. Fancy. 
As we were walking through the store, we saw a lot of truck accessories and trucks. It takes balls to golf, look. Sure does. Do we want reflective or non-reflective? Non-reflective? All right. Or do we want something like this? That one? What's in the back? Okay. There's a bed and then like a bunk that's folded up. Is that truck mattress? So that's a trucker size bed then. There you go, here's your truck mattress. So no matter where we land when traveling, the one thing that stays the same is the quality of sleep that we're getting from our mattress, from rvmattress.com. And we do share about this frequently because it is seriously one of the best upgrades that we have made to our RV. Now we chose the Aurora Lux Hybrid mattress and it has been great having a mattress that has all of the comforts of home because let's face it, this RV, is home for us for a good portion of the year. Now the process to have them ship it to us and then get it into the RV was really easy because the mattresses come rolled up in a box and wrapped in plastic. So when our mattress arrived, it was easy to bring it into the RV, unwrap the plastic, and it expanded very, very quickly. In fact, it was like, ready to sleep on within minutes. Now we realize that many of you might not be a full-time RVer or just a part-timer or any timer as we like to say. So what about when you're not on the road? One thing we realized is that when we were in our RV, we were actually sleeping better than those nights that we were at the glamper hideaway. So we went through brooklynbedding.com, which is RV mattresses parent company to get another mattress for the glamper hideaway. And then because we loved it so much, we upgraded all of the mattresses at the hideaway to Brooklyn Bedding. So when we're hosting guests, we know they are getting a restful night's sleep as well and enjoying their stay. One of the things that we love about RV Mattress is that they do have a factory in Arizona, so they ship for free and quickly and come with a 10 year warranty. So we are set for a very long time on mattresses. We've dedicated this channel to really be a resource for the RV community. And so we've partnered with RVmattress.com for a 25% discount for our viewers. But if you happen to be watching this video before September 5th, you can actually save 30% off during the Labor Day sale. You can learn more at RVmattress.com forward slash grateful or visit the link in the description below. And a huge thanks to RV Mattress for sponsoring this video and their continued support of our channel. So you can get this five air horn assembly here for, for only $1,300. $1,300. There you go. I wonder if that's, that's oh gotta be gosh. loud. Those have gotta be like, it says like train horn. It probably does sound like a train horn. That is hilarious. The back's more roomier than the front. It What's looks that? like it's a like it's a manual, like a stick shift. And there's so many buttons and knobs, like that would feel intimidating. Yeah. So the, supposedly this truck is called the Corn Patch Cadillac. Okay. As I move with the... Got it. And what did that trucker say, the, how he drives? He drives by Braille? That one trucker told us he drives by Braille, so he just, you know, feels the reflector bumps in the road to, anyway. The one thing I have to say is like, truckers, they're so friendly. Like they have so much good information. We've gotten like so many good driving tips from truckers over the years. They're just like one of the best, I don't know, like the, we always say how the RV community is one of the best communities. I think like the trucker community has probably got to be like maybe yeah. one of the second best. You'll have to let us yeah. know like in the comments, maybe you are a semi truck driver. Let us know what you think because our experience with the trucker community has been nothing but great. We could get like one of these hood ornaments and maybe put it like on the roof, the roof of the RV. Oh yes, the angel. There's the fly <laughs> or flying, or flying goddess. Flying goddess. Okay. It's supposed to be a flying goddess. Ooh, the gorilla, Ooh. the ram, the pig. What is, this looks, what is this, an angry duck? Very, <laughs> very angry duck. <laughs> with a cigar. Flying I don't pig. know, what is it? Like what's up with the angry duck and the cigar? The dog. Oh, the dog. Oh, cute. this is, I bet you his eyes are like devil eyes. Yeah, look, look, look. Oh, they light up? Yes. Brilliant. Flying <laughs> horse, horns. The swan. Swan. Dad, do you see the gorillas? Yes. Oh, that's funny. Which one would you get? If you were to yeah, put one of these on your truck. I would get the flying pig. Flying pig. 
Arm blaster, glue kicker. <laughs> Those are the options. Arm just, just start going. Just, just take quick say start. Quick start. Yeah. Two twenty. Woo! Yeah, I got the camera though too. We're coming off of four days of boondocking, and the laundry is so piled up right now. I could get it done a lot faster if I could use a couple of these machines. I could literally just knock it all out like at once. And then after that, maybe we'll check out the pet wash. I don't know. There's just so much here. The dentist, they have the barber shop, they have showers, they have laundry, they have the dog wash, the restaurant, all sorts of different restaurants too. It's not just the sit down restaurant. They've got a, a whole bunch of restaurants downstairs, coffee, you name it. Like this is almost like its own little city. It's crazy. All right, so got the laundry done and it's gonna go put that away. And then I think we wanted to weigh ourselves on the cat scale before we head out. So like, it is really easy to spend a ton of time here. It is already almost two o'clock in the afternoon. So we've literally been here almost all day long. It's time to get back on the road. So I don't know, let's go weigh ourselves. We haven't weighed ourselves in a while. Let's make sure that we haven't gained weight. was a little dirty, so we decided to go through the truck wash. The employees were really friendly and they were hard working. Be sure to check out last week's episode where we had multiple boondocking fails and be sure to subscribe for next week's episode where we have some interesting tips for places to stop in your travels. If we do not see you out on the road or around the campground, we'll catch you in the video. Yeah.